Welcome to the St. Charles Public Library's virtual walk and talks, Stories with the Nature Center. I'm Miss Amelia, and today we're going to be bringing you our virtual program from the great outdoors. For the month of July, we're going to show you how to make a flower loom with just a few scraps of stuff that you can find around your house. Let's get started. You're gonna turn this into this. So that means we can cut it short. And then we're gonna use our scissors to cut out the hole. Ta-da! Once you've got that all cut up, the next thing you wanna do is make about six or seven small cuts on the side, on both sides. doesn't matter if they're not perfect, it's no big deal. So we're gonna take that string, let's find our end. We're gonna pick which side we want to be the front and which side I'm gonna have be the back. I'm going to start on the back. I'm going to take my string and you just kind of pull it right down into that little slot. And after that, it's pretty easy. We'll find the one on the other side, pull it through there, wrap it up, Pull it down, wrap it up, pull it down, and every time I go around, I'm catching it right in that little part right there. You don't want to leave it too loose. You want to be able to weave your flower stems in. When you get to the end, you can take your piece of string, cut it off, and we're good to go. So there's two different things that you can put in here. You can put in live flowers. Um, I do not want you guys going to the nature center or the Leroy Oaks or any other forest preserve and going and cutting a whole bunch of wildflowers. Those flowers are there for the birds and the bees and for everybody to enjoy. There's a saying when you go out into nature hiking, take only pictures and leave only footprints. So please don't go cutting down all the wildflowers you see in the forest preserves. But what you can do is take a look around your yard. Take a look around your house. Lots of different things you can use. You can also make your own flowers. Got some beautiful paper flowers here that my boys made for me. Um, there's some pretty flowers that we made out of pipe cleaners right there. You can do whatever you want. When you do get your flowers, once your loom is all made, you just weave everything through. Under a few, on top of a few, under a few, on top of a few. There's no wrong way to do it because it's your creation. I'm gonna create a little green background here. Under a few, over a few. And there you go. You just made your very own flower loom. And now, what I know you've all been waiting for, the next story walk. So, this time the story walk is called The Hike by Allison Farrell. Almost ready? Oh, oh, just one more cut. Just a few more feathers. This book has a lot of really great descriptions. So while you guys are out walking, really pay attention to what they're labeling, all the different wildlife and flowers. We are going on a hike. Ren, Elle, Hattie, and their dog Bean. <gasps> Look at all the things they're going to come across snowberries, a red fox, a bumblebee, a lot of stuff. It's our favorite thing to do. Look, there they go. There's a fairy ring of mushrooms, a porcupine quill, all sorts of stuff. In the beginning, we run like maniacs. Hey, 
Wait for me! And the dog goes, Arf! Until a ripe patch of thimbleberries slows us down. Um, 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 um. Woo! We are really eating those. Elle teaches us how to make leaf baskets. Ren's sketchbook, it says, Leaf baskets, Elle's instructions. Find one big leaf with five tips. Poke the stem into the opposite leaf tip. Tip by tip, poke leaves with the stem. And then pack with berries. They're making everything over here. She goes, like this, L? Yep. Oh, we may have eaten too many berries. Is that possible? I thought we were saving some for later. The hike gets steep and the trail narrows. Boo! Ah! Hetty! How'd you get up there so fast? And we get lost. Are they gonna find their way out? Get to the story walk at Leroy Oaks to find out. Hi guys! I'm here to show you how to find the story walk. So, once you get to Leroy Oaks, I want you to drive past the Durant House Museum parking lot and turn left. And you're gonna follow that road all the way down to the very last parking lot. And that's where you're gonna find this information kiosk right here. And if you turn around and look right behind you, you can see that there's a bridge. And right past the bridge is where the story walk starts. Come on, let's go. Now that we're on the other side of the bridge, you can see this is where the story walk starts. And it wraps all the way around and goes right down Randall Road Trail. So now that you know where to find the story walk, make sure you get out there and read. And don't forget, check back every two weeks for a different story.